time to check in with our first alert weather team. Meteorologist John Elliott standing by in the Weather Center. Tony Sidiku is out on Long Island this morning in Comac. Tony, let's start with you. Good morning. Hey there, good morning, Chris. So much needed break from the rain commences today while a lot of these businesses try to basically grapple with how to move forward, how to begin the cleanup. Water levels are going down, but the damage already done in most cases. Uh, thankfully, if you step out the door this morning, you're going to start to feel a pattern change. Drier air is moving in or setting up uh, a, a, a long stretch of mainly dry weather, too. I want to show you some of the numbers we've had across of uh, the area just this month. So we looked at the numbers just in the last few days earlier, but just this month in some areas, and we'll start with the city in Central Park, uh, over six and two thirds inches of rain, 6.68, now putting us at a surplus of over four inches. Keep in mind, look at LaGuardia, seven and a half, JFK over four inches, and Islip over close to six and a half inches. In a lot of these cases, uh, you know, it's not just a surplus of rain, but most have already seen the number, the normal August rainfall. And keep in mind, we still have 12 days left. Thankfully, many of them going to be dry as we now usher in a pleasant pattern. Cold front moving out, high pressure building in. That'll set up a cooler trend, too. So I know fall may be a month away, but we get a taste of it this week. It's a remarkable, remarkable stretch and a much more refreshing feel out the door as temperatures have dropped a handful of degrees compared to this time yesterday. A refreshing feel. Winds have turned out of the north. North, you can feel the briskness in the air, and that'll kind of be the case a good portion of the day as the air will stay stirred. So long sleeves out the door for many. John, as we gear up for some of the coolest weather we've had really in months, and I know the weather watchers are taking notice too. They're loving it, Tony. I mean, I know there's so much cleanup to do, but wow, this is a weather win. So I've got my weather watchers up in the uh, parts of the Hudson Valley. Walter's got 59. Can't wait to play a little ball. 55 for Bob. He's celebrating football already, and we were just confirming the NFL actually dates back to like 1920. Whoa. That's right. Well, way to 20. go. Way to go. So happy birthday to the NFL on uh, football weather this weekend will be a lot warmer. So we have some uh, nice refreshing numbers. It's obviously warmer closer to the city. And it is Bacon Lover's Day. Look what Elena made that into a little heart. That's adorable. I'm sure your cardiologist would approve. Some really nice moonshots. Appreciate that. Way to go, Ron. This was last night. Jersey Shore, way to go. Um, it is also World Radio Day. Celebrating our friends in radio. And Bob Leschek says he celebrates radio with great frequency. And and it's Mosquito Day. I'm so glad that Les reminded me Mosquito Day. So I said, why are we celebrating Mosquito? Well, we're not. It's Mosquito Day to remind you after recent rain, please, you know, kind of police your backyard, your, you know, anywhere there's any standing water. Mosquitoes are a vector of disease. So you want to make sure that you're getting rid of any kind of standing water. Also, the other thing, mold is going to be a bit of an issue, too. So you look at the pollen, it's still high, a break from tree pollen sign of the season but you still have all this kind of these percolating elements so yeah the bugs and the pollen want to make sure that you're ready for the day let's skip ahead seven o'clock we're clearing the showers out of the island and clouds will give way to sun a really pretty day today Wednesday um, I'm way on top of the TV there's a there's an upper level low so there's this gear in the atmosphere that could send some showers our way now we do this is not heavy rain these are not wild storms brief moderate rain could actually serve up some rainbows and again it's going to have to overcome dry air at the surface and then we're done with that and we see some nicer conditions into Thursday and Friday so you know take your pick Thursday 76 very pleasant and then 82 on Friday Friday looks fabulous and then some football this weekend good good for the teams in town tonight definitely just that one little hiccup uh, for Wednesday and then uh, Friday Saturday Sunday just looking great yeah happy to see all that sunshine John yeah. you know and after this is traumatic people you get a flooded basement you get oh. a road walk. it's just heartbreaking so this is good been there yeah. done that yeah. it is yeah. a massive yeah. massive issue yeah. I mean we it's talk big about that ah, it's a little rain and no, then no, no, people no. get people inundated that, you get a car totaled in this yeah, it's, it's a big big deal yeah hopefully the sun dries them out yeah. John thank you